Hello and welcome back to JimMurphyMP.com, a way of keeping in touch with local and national news. And I'm here standing outside Barhead High School and you'll hear the noise of the traffic hanging up behind you. But I'm here with um, Councillor Paula Kane, who's the Deputy Convener of Education um, in local authority. Now, of course, there's been a campaign supported by the Labour Party and the parents in Barhead for some time now for a new Barhead High School. And the proposals were worked up, um, but they have been overturned and the council's now looking to appeal and looking at other options. But I just wanted to, for the benefit of local people, interview Paul today and get an insight. Now, Paul, of course, this campaign's been on for a while. Why do the parents and others feel the need for such a new school? I think because the current uh, school that you can see behind us, you know, the fabric of that school is quite poor. Um, it's an old school and we need to bring the teaching environment up to a standard where young people can have the best opportunities to learn, using the best facilities and the best resources. I think we've seen some great schools, uh, New Eastwood High School, New Williamwood High School and loads of other schools being up improved and refurbished and rebuilt in recent years and it's remarkable that the school still does so well with such a kind of old building and poor facilities. Now, you had worked through the plans, what happened? Why, why are you having to look again? Because a lot of families in Barhead had heard of this Friends of Cowan Park group and some of the things they were saying, but just ultimately why has Plan A been knocked in the way that it has? Well, unfortunately, um, as you see, Jim, you know, friends of Cowan Park and others have started to raise questions uh, around whether or not that, that piece of land in the park could be used. And unfortunately, the council then had to move to take action to make sure that we were comfortable that we could use that land. Unfortunately, the Court of Session has decided that that's not possible, which is a strange decision given that um, we've seen in other places um, in the exact same scenario being able to be taken through a parliamentary process, for example, and actually happen and build a scale on the site. I think everyone thought it was a real blow. Yeah. So I think there is real disappointment across Barhead, so many families, the court has taken this decision and that campaign was running the way it was. Now, it leaves the council with a quandary whether to appeal or whether to cancel the plans, whether to build on the current site. What is the council actively looking at now, Paul? Well, the first thing is the council is absolutely committed to building the Barhead tie and we're committed to protecting the funding and making sure that that happens for all of the young people and their parents here in Barhead. What we're looking at now is an appeal to the court of session because we think that the decision was unfair and we think that should be overturned. But obviously we have to look at other options as well and we're looking at alternative sites. However, what I would say Jim is that none of those sites are as attractive or as appealing as the site we've proposed to build on. But at the end of the day, we'll be bringing proposals forward to make sure that this project happens and happens quickly. So there's going to be a new Barhead High School? Absolutely, categorically yes. We are behind this project and we want to deliver a new Barhead High School. That's good news at least, although it's going to be later than originally planned of course, which is a real disappointment to parents who hope that their kids would get that chance to um, study, learn and develop in the most modern school in Scotland. So we'll keep you up to date on the website and petitions and in the Barhead News and elsewhere. Um, as usual, if you want to get in touch about this or any other issue, an email, Facebook, tweet, go down to the post office, buy a stamp with the Queen's head on it, stick it in an envelope and post it off to me in the House of Commons. Thanks very much, Paul. Thank Cheers. You.